Now, suppose I've posted some Java class files to the class website, and you've downloaded them to your hard drive, and you want to open them up into, into Eclipse, into a project so that you can play with them. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So uh, right now, I've got this package from the last video uh, for lecture two, for all my files related to lecture two. That's this one. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do is then uh, just import a file that I had posted on the class website. So I right-clicked on the package, import. Um, I want to import from the file system. That's from my computer. I'm going to browse for it. So uh, let's see, libraries, documents, my docs. Blair, teaching, algorithms and data structures, slide prep, really going down the rabbit hole. Okay, we're in that folder. The file I want to import is hello world complicated.java. Hello world complicated.java. So great, there it pops up in our package. And it's actually been copied into this Eclipse project. So it's not that it's referring to the original location, that file has now been copied. So let's open it up by double clicking on it. Great, uh, two things are wrong. First of all, we brought it into this package, but we didn't include a package statement at the top. Uh, remember last time it was automatically generated for us. You can see in hello world.java from the last video, package net.mrpaul.ads.spaul.lecture2. Here, we don't have that yet. So let's add it in, package net.mrpaul.ads.spaul. And let's see if Eclipse comes up with anything. Well, it doesn't. So dot lecture 0, 002. Often Eclipse will give us nice code complete. Great. Well, now that error is gone. Uh, we're properly in the package. There's still something else. Um, and if you see, it looks like, well, this file is called hello world complicated, but the class inside the file is actually called hello world. So let's fix that as well. Perfect. Uh, now we can actually go ahead and run this second version. Sorry, I had just run it a second ago. So we'll click run. Perfect. There we go. And that's how you would bring in another file.